what's up what's up this is your girl Corinne nicole welcome back to my channel you guys so over the weekend i got to spend some more time with my mom and we actually went shopping so we're doing this collab video and we both gonna show you guys what we bought at these stores we went to three different stores we went to joanne's fabrics um five below and then we went to the dollar tree yes we were out here spending money but spending it wisely and the shopping with sales in the easy peasy stores. So if you like to see what we got, then keep on watching. All right, so I was out with my mom. We were shopping. She's looking for things for her house, snacks and things like that, and perfumes. She's obsessed with different perfumes. So that's why we went to Five Below, went to Joanne's Fabric for me. Then she looked at house things. I then went to Dollar Tree just because. We need more things. So here's a clip of all of that. So my daughter, and we went and checked out some stores. And of course, I've been wanting to do this kind of thing. So I picked up some stuff from like, um, we, went, we went to two stores, actually went to three stores. I didn't really get anything at the first store. But the, the two stores, the two other stores, I did pick up a couple items that I just wanted to try. So I want to show you all what I want to try. So we went to um, Five Below, which I'm loving that store lately because you know I am what? El Chipo. So we went to Five Below and we went to the Dollar Tree. So I just want to show you the things that I picked up from Five Below and the Dollar Tree that I want to try and check things out. So we're going to look in these bags and see. Now let's jump into what I got. So we're going to go to the first place, which was Joanne Fabric. So this is my Joanne bag, Joanne fabric. This is my Joanne bag. It actually broke. I guess they tried to put too much stuff in one bag. So hey, so I end up putting all the stuff that I got from Joanne in this Hobby Lobby bag. I know, wrong, right? Okay. Well, let's talk about this first thing that I bought. Joanne was having a huge, huge sale on all of their house decorations and things of that nature so i kind of picked up something even though i didn't need anything else for the house right now i did get something to put on my door my door was recently tinted um so you can't see my actual storm my house door through the storm door anymore so you can't really see what's on that door so i wanted to get something that i could put on the storm door that would be cute and goes with my outside decor outside i have the green cushions i'm actually gonna insert a little video here i have green cushions um this little green and flowery summer-ish little plates sit on my little table and i thought that this would be good to bring out that green and add in some pink since pink is my favorite color and it's kind of the underlying color in my whole entire house so yes i got this and this was um on sale for like 70 percent off and it's, it was originally 40 dollars. so you guys know that that was pretty cheap i don't know where the receipt is for all of that and it may be in my purse okay so the real reason why i went to joanne was because i needed more vinyl so while we were in there they had a sale on vinyl where you buy three and get three free so hey who would not want to go and get them some vinyl? Yes, the vinyl was kind of expensive, but if I'm buying three and I'm getting three free, I think it would just be just fine. So I picked up this pack. This is the premium vinyl. Um, This is the variety sampler. It has 12, 12 by 12 sheets. And I picked this one up because these colors are kind of versatile and very popular. So I did get this one. The next one that I got was this premium vinyl all occasion sampler. And it actually has a lot of black, silver, gold, white in here. And I got this one because a lot of things, sometimes people want simple black. They want pink, but then they want black vinyl put on those things. So I did pick this pack up as well. And this one has 12, 12 by 12 sheets as well. The next set I picked up was this one. It's premium vinyl. This is a tropical sampler. It only has six in six 12 by 12 sheets in this one. And these are the colors. Those colors are so freaking cute. I cannot wait to put that on somebody's tray. Go ahead and order your tray set from me, honey. Yes. Order one. So I said, well, I want to play around with some other things with my Cricut since I've kind of 
I'm not going to say mastered my trays and the regular cutting of the vinyl, but I was like, hey, I know how to do that, so let's go and try to do something else. So I bought some iron-ons as well to play around and make some t-shirts. So I got this everyday iron-on. This is the Rainbow Sampler. It has six 12 by 12 um, sheets in there, and this is a strong bond. So this is the colors. I had to make sure I had one that had pink in it. Okay. I also picked up pink glitter iron on and this is just it says iron on one roll 12 by 19 iron on um and it just tells us how to do it and all that kind of stuff so of course it's pink glitter yes pink glitter for the win and i also picked up this silver one right here it doesn't give us like they don't have names for it so I did pick up this silver glitter. I'm trying to make sure that the name, because you know some things name there, colors and things like that. So that silver iron on is good. So I'm excited about that. I also picked up some shirts that were on sale to practice my iron on. So I picked up a couple of shirts. Most of them are going to be in medium or small. So this is the adult small, the Gildan brand. They had a couple of them on sale. This one was $3.97. I got this in the small, so I got a red shirt. I got a white shirt. A black one. And a gray one. And it's just so I can practice the iron on. So that was all that I got from Hobby Lobby, you guys. Next one we went to was five below. I've been trying to get into Five Below for a couple of days now. The last time I went to Five Below, they were closing. They were counting people. They would not let us in. Casey was acting the food. It j I just couldn't get in there. I just couldn't get in that store. And I was really not feeling that. I was really upset. So we finally decided to just get in the car on Saturday and go down there. Now, I will not go again on a Saturday. It's too many people in there. Too many people in the store. Oh, my God. Everywhere you turn, you bump into somebody. Now... If it wasn't the coronavirus pandemic, then it wouldn't bother me so much. But everybody seemed like they wanted to be in a five below. Like, really? So anyway, you guys can see here how much I spent in five below. Um, It actually wasn't that much. It just looked like because there's some big things. Okay, so this first thing I picked up was this set of balls. This is sports balls. They came three in the pack. You get a basketball, a football, and a soccer ball. The basketball, of course, is gone. My youngest child loves balls and cars. So wherever we go, he's screaming balls, he's screaming cars, and he knows exactly what he wants. So if I give him something that he doesn't want, he can scream, throw it down, all that stuff, and he's going to want to get out until he gets what he wants. So these are the ones that he wanted, which I don't mind buying them because he plays with them. They're not just everywhere. He's actually playing with them. So we can do that. So we got three balls for $5, which is not bad at all. And the next thing I have is this three-foot multicolor USB LED lighting strip. And it's 16 color options, plug and play, USB powered. And I'm actually going to put this on the back of my television. In the living room just to see if it adds any more pink to the room i'm gonna insert a little video here of me doing that and i just want to see how this works my kids want the real long ones to put all around their room but i want to see how this works behind the tv and if it's cute maybe i'll get another one and use it somewhere else so yeah the next thing i got out of five below was this ultra light digital body scale I picked up the body scale because my friend and I, Miss Holston, we're going to start holding each other accountable for our little weight loss, get sexy, back 32, 33, get white for 33, I guess that's what we're going to say. I don't know. But anyway, so we're going to hold each other accountable for some things. So I did pick this up because the scale that I had before is no longer working. So here we are. You guys will get a video of that journey as well. So I did pick this up. It is... um. LCD display for time sensors. It can switch between pounds, kilograms. It's low profile, tempered safety glass, auto on, off, skid proof design. So yeah, that is that. And 
I'm going to be using it. All right, and five below, I also picked up these um, faux nails, these pretty woman faux nails, the 24 in the pack. And I can't get to the nail salon, as you guys saw in my last video, and it's driving me absolutely bananas. So, I decided to pick these up to see if I like them. So, I got this pair. Let's see if they have any names. Um, nope. I'm just going to call this the blue set. We're going to call this other one the pink set. No, no names. Okay, so this is the blue set, and it actually has blue glitter, one regular blue one, one silver nail. I didn't see the silver nail. And then it has this marble design. Looks like that. And then we also got this pink pair. It is like a, um, it just shine. I thought it was like holographic, but it's not. And some of them have rhinestones on them. So I'm going to actually try these. And if I get these on before I edit the video, I'll insert a picture here if I have put these on before I edit the video. So I'm actually looking forward to trying them out. Um, and like I told you, my son cannot leave the store without getting balls in a car. So I actually got two cars. <laughs> um, and the little matchbox cars are only a dollar in most places. So I did pick up two. This time we got the 69 BMW and then we got the 47 Chevy. Chevy AD 3100. And then this is a 69 BMW 2002, whatever that means. So we got those two cars. And yes, we opened them and he plays with them. No, we're not keeping the package. So we got that. And then, of course, I got a bunch of snacks. Oh, there's one more thing in here. Got a bubble blower. The other bubble blower, he kind of pulled pieces apart. There are pieces are everywhere. So I got this one. Um, it needed batteries. We're gonna see if he can actually use this. And we actually watch Ryan's World. I don't know if you guys know anything about that, but we actually watch Ryan's World together. So we'll see how that works out, and maybe I'll insert a video. I don't know. We don't know yet. It just depends on when I get this edited. All right, and then I got a bunch of snacks, y'all. A bunch of snacks. So the first thing I got were these wrap snacks, this cheddar barbecue by Cardi B. And when you're hungry, you tend to buy a lot of snacks that you really don't need when you're hungry. So we got Cardi B, cheddar and barbecue. I got some Jack Link's bacon jerky. Like this is my favorite jerky ever. Shout out to Brandon Phillips for putting me on that. Um... Yeah, so I did get this, and it's actually a whole lot cheaper in Five Below than it is in Walmart, where I normally buy it. So, that's it. And if you haven't been on this yet, get you some. I also got the Wrap Snacks Icon, and these are Notorious Big Honey and Jalapeno. I'm excited to try this. Maybe I'll do a snack try video. Maybe me and Christopher can do that. So this is the Notorious Big Honey Jalapeno Chips. These are the wrap snacks I can And then I couldn't leave without getting some type of chocolate. And this is the Ghirardelli. Is, is that how you say that? Milk chocolate sea salt cashews. Two of my favorite things to put together. Cashews and milk chocolate. Oh, come on. So that is everything that I got from Five Below. Yeah, a lot of things. So I think I am going to do that snack video with Christopher. One day this week. Maybe. If he don't make me mad. All right, you guys. So the next store that we went to was the Dollar Tree. Um, I spent a lot of money in that. I guess I was hungry on free trade, so I just started spending money. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so let's just randomly go into these bags and see what we got. So the first thing is a dog bowl. Originally, Shadow's dog bowl was missing. I never found it. So this is just gonna be an extra one. We're gonna put it in the cabinet. And it's just a plain little black bowl. Is that black? Yeah, plain little black bowl for our little doggy. Nothing special. All right, so the next thing I got is this cling wrap. I got the cling wrap to go along with the scale. Yes. So we're gonna be doing body wrapping. Let's see how that goes. I'm gonna do a five day challenge on my YouTube channel with the body wrapping, coconut oil, all that kind of stuff. And I'll come back to you guys with all of that video. Um, in the morning, 
well, I want to record it in the morning. It won't go up until the next Sunday because I'm going to do five days. But anyway, yeah. So this is a part of our little accountability. So I got one package just to see if it's going to work the way I want it to work. And if it does, then I'll go back to the Dollar Tree and get some more. And like I said, that's just some black clean gift wrap. The next thing that I have are batteries. I need batteries for a couple of things. The scale, the bubble blower, and then something else I need the batteries for. So we did get a pack of batteries. No, I know these don't last long, but we'll make it work. All right, I got toothpaste. We need toothpaste in our house. So I got some Colgate deep clean. I'm going to toss this to Christopher so he can put it in the bathroom. The next thing I have is some more snacks. I might do a bag on the inside. Peanuts, I love salted, roasted peanuts. Like, I just like peanuts. They're good for you. Nuts are good for you. Good snacks instead of me eating potato chips all day. Yeah. All right, so let's go, let's get into another bag. Okay, so here's another bag. And in this bag, what do we have? I have a mesh laundry bag, which I'm going to actually hang on the back of my bathroom door. To put all the dirty towels in, and I'm going to insert a video right here showing you guys how I hang that up and how we're going to put the dirty towels in there. So I got that. I got some Excedrin migraine because my head was hurting, but I forgot I had bought these and I did not take any. But yes, that's going to go in my purse. I'm going to toss that right there where my purse is. All right. Next thing I have is this bubble mailer because I have a tray kit that I need to be sending out. In the morning, I supposed to send it out yesterday. I'm gonna send it out in the morning. So I got a bubble mail. I need to go get some bubble wrap to make sure that this thing goes where it needs to go very safely with no problem. And I hate to say this, but there are more snacks. All right, so we got some boom cheek pop white cheddar popcorn. I like white cheddar popcorn, so I was like, hey, let's try this brand. I got some <laughs> popcorners, the crunchy and wholesome popcorn snack in white cheddar. I got some popcorners in jalapeno cheddar. That's not all the snacks, but we're going to move on. All right, and then the next bag, I think there are more snacks. So we have some jerky. You guys, they had Jack Link's beef jerky in the Dollar Tree. No, these are not the big bags, but hey, we'll take them. And these are some that I haven't tried before, so it's like, let's try them. Um, I have the white meat chicken tender bites in original and sweet barbecue. So these will probably go in our snack tasting as well. And then I got an aloe vera, aloe vera, aloe vita, aloe vera in pure water, pomegranate, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. It's just great taste and good for your belly. I'm going to have to look that up and see what they mean by good for my belly, but I'm going to make Christopher try it with me. Ha <laughs> ha So this is what we have. I'm going to toss it to him, too, so he put that in the refrigerator. So we won't be sick from drinking that mess. And then the last bag is some things so I can make some Father's Day gifts, okay? I have a couple people I need to make Father's Day gifts for or get them Father's Day gifts. So some of them are going to get handmade gifts. Oh, well. All right. So oh, she got this bag wrapped up really, really, really tight. So I picked up, I think, three of these little cute little mugs. I was originally thinking, okay, everybody drinks a little beer. I'm going to get beer mugs. But then I had so many people talking about, I don't drink like that no more. I drink those little mugs. So I just said, forget it. I just get this cute little jar. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for. I'm going to put something nice on it using my Cricut and my vinyl. See? Vinyl's paying for itself already. Put something cute on here for their fathers. Um, and one of them is actually going to get a little bit, they're, 
everything is gonna go a little differently, a little different. So I did buy this little um, jar as well. It's not quite a mason jar, but it's called a canning jar. So I did get the canning jar for a gift as well. And it's gonna be homemade gifts. I'll probably do a video of those. This glass doesn't have a name, but yep. Yeah. So I got these these things right here to do some creative things with them. And if you have any ideas on what I should do, then you. Can let me know. Um, uh, let me know down in the description below what should I have gotten for five below if I didn't get the right thing. Let me know. And make sure you check out my mom's YouTube video. I'm gonna insert some of that clip again right here. Check it out. Make sure you go over to her page, thumbs her video up, comment on her video, subscribe to her channel, and click that bell notification if you have not done so already over there. And then make sure you do the same thing in here. Thumbs this video up, comment down below anything that you want to tell me. Click the bell notification and be notified whenever I upload a video. And make sure you click on one of these videos that's floating on your screen. They're here for a reason. Until the next time, see you guys later.